What's going on YouTube? Geosnorite here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to erase the data from your device safely so that it can never be recovered back. Now there might be various reasons why you want to do that. Maybe you want to sell the phone on Craigslist or on eBay and you don't want anybody to be able to recover your data from the phone like photos, messages, Safari bookmarks and so on. Or maybe you want to give it to a friend and so on. And again, you don't want your personal data to be spread away. So there might be various reasons, but I'm going to show you how to do it using a program from Wondershare called Dr. Phone Arrays. And this one will pretty much be able to destroy all the data from the phone so that you can safely sell the phone or you can safely give it away to a friend and so on. The program is available in here on drphone.wondershare.com. It's called Dr. Phone Arrays, as I say and it's for iOS and is able to pretty much clear out the junk to permanently delete the data, compress photos and you are able to pretty much select whether you want to remove everything or only partially your data like only your photos or only your photos in your bookmarks or only your photos, your bookmarks and your messages and so on. So this program is also available for Windows, but we're going to review the Mac version and I want to thank to Wondershare for giving me the opportunity to review the software first. So we're going to take a look at how it looks like. Now the program is looking like this and it has a couple of modules that I reviewed in the past. Now you can select between repair, backup and restore, switch, transfer, recover, unlock and many many other things. But the one we're going to review today is the erase one which permanently erases your data from the phone. Now if you open it it's going to start like this and as you can see it's popping up in here on the, um, on the taskbar. And there we go, it asks me to connect a phone. So I'm going to use as a test dummy the iPod Touch 5th generation that I have in here. So I'm going to plug it in and it should be detected with no problem by the uh, computer. Okay, so it says connecting, probably it's fetching some data and there we go. Right, so as you can see it says George's iPod Touch connected. So I have two options in here to erase the entire data from the device and that would pretty much delete everything or I can go ahead and here on erase private data and I will be able to select what I want to erase. So let's do that. I'm going to press in here and it's going to start scanning the device for various information. For example, for the photos or for the bookmarks and the messages. And there we go. We're popping up in here and you can see it has already detected the photos that I have in here and you can pretty much check them all or uncheck or do whatever and I can select all my bookmarks in here from the Safari and once I'm happy with whatever I want to remove from here I press erase from the device. Now it's going to ask me to type the word delete and of course that's due to the fact that you might be able to press accidentally the button here and deleting all your data. So it asks you to pretty much confirm the fact that you really want to start deleting stuff. So I'm going to write delete and press erase now. Now at this point it will start to do everything as it should. Now you should keep in mind one thing, uh, the program works with iOS 11.4, 11.3.1, 11.2 iOS 10, iOS 9, I think it works even with iOS 8. So the program is very versatile and it works with most of the devices. I have tried this program in the past with an iPad, with an iPod Touch that I'm running right now and it's currently uh, erasing, with an iPhone 7 and an iPhone 7 Plus and also with an iPhone 5. So all of them were handled pretty fine. So I can say that the program itself works pretty reliably in order to erase your data. Now as you can see here the um, progress is being indicated, the phone has now uh, restarted and is currently restarting and then uh, it says erase redundant data. It's pretty much going to probably create a backup in the background and erase whatever you selected from that backup and of course then it's probably going to restore that backup without having your personal data that you decided to erase. So it says 65% uh, in here, we're going to wait just a little bit more. Now at this point you can still stop the erasing, but I would not recommend that. Once you started the process, it's probably recommended to, you know, leave it do its stuff unless you really want to stop the process because, I don't know, you mischecked something and yeah, you are deleting something important. Anyways, at this point in time the phone is showing the Apple logo and a progress bar underneath and yeah, the progress bar disappeared and the phone is now apparently restarting. So let's wait for it to complete and we will be able to see whether I have the data again. Okay, so 
the phone started and I'm waiting for it to complete this process. Now, something you should keep in mind is that when you're connecting the phone to the computer to do this procedure, it's recommended that you have either a very good quality cable or the original cable that came with your device. And the reason for that is that when you're connecting the uh, phone to the computer and the data transfer begins, you wouldn't want the cable to create problems because you may get some corruption going on, which you probably do not want. Alright, so the phone has restarted and now I'm able to see it back again in here. The erasing process has completed and let's see now if I have the photos and the bookmarks from my Safari again in here. I'm going to press erase private data and it will start scanning again the device. Now opening the application for the photos, I can't see any photos. But something you should keep in mind is that this also cleans the uh, caches of the applications and temporary files that are clogging up your storage, which is something very good because you get more free space on the phone. As you can see, it says no data found. Please make sure the device is not empty. And if you take a look in here, photos zero, Safari bookmarks zero. So our data has been completely erased. Now, as I said, you are able to also get some free space out of this erase procedure. Uh, if you take a look in here, they're also presenting this on their website clear useless files and speed up your iOS devices. And yes, this can remove the app caches, logos, uh, cookies without hassle and wipe useless temporary files, system junk and so on, which of course gives you more free space and makes the device to work better. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking out this program. Now if you want to erase everything from the device, you would definitely go in here on the erase and you would press the other button that would wipe everything without asking you what you want to remove. So you press in here and you would have to type the word delete. Now one thing that you should keep in mind is the fact that you should, in this mode, close all the applications. So I'm going to say delete and I'm going to press erase now and it's going to erase everything from the device, uh, including the music, the movies, um, the apps that you have installed, the private data, the system settings, and it's pretty much going to reset the phone to the default and it will have no files, no music, nothing anymore. So let's wait for the process to complete. It's 18%. I'm gonna be back when it's uh, completed. And there we go. The process is now completed and the phone restarted and it's showing up this setup application where I have to choose the language, I have to choose the region of the phone, I have to connect to a Wi-Fi network and now it asks me to uh, pretty much set it up. It's activated and I have to set it up as a new iPod or I have the option to restore from iCloud backup or from iTunes backup. So I'm going to set it up as a new iPhone. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions in here, create a passcode. I'm not going to add a passcode for the moment. And there we go. Now the phone has successfully started and if you take a look in here, there is absolutely no data. Well, there was no longer any data to begin with because I don't have any music and so on but all the applications that I have installed on this phone have been completely wiped. So now the phone looks perfectly fine and looks just like it's been taken out of the box with all my private data erased. So yeah, definitely a good program. You can check it out in the description down below. The program, as I said, is called Dr. Phone Erase. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS and it's compatible with all versions of the iOS 11 and all Apple devices running the iOS 11, iOS 10, iOS 9 and even iOS 8. So definitely check it out in the description down below. I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.